Hey guys, Sergeant speaking with Earth Walker Primitives. I'm here to discuss uh, H2 with you today, which is HOLM. My six uh, H's of, of survival philosophy. H2, which is what I ranked as the, uh, the second most important thing to be able to sustain yourself and have equipment and be prepared to do. First being fire, which as we discussed in the fire video, in the H1 video, how fire is important almost through every single uh, other H of the philosophy. That's important to definitely be able to sustain fire. And in most situations, fire is the first thing that we need to get. Uh, the second one is uh, the home, because shelter is definitely equally important. We need fire to, to, to cook and heat us and keep us warm, but we also need shelter to not just keep us dry and out of rain and out of snow, but also to protect us from things like the sun. And I'm a redhead, so right now I'm getting beat up pretty good. So, um, and, you know, we need uh, shelter to protect us from all the elements of weather, but also from uh, other elements out there like uh, pests and and critters and, and uh, predators if you're in that kind of a situation, in that kind of environment. And um, also, when you think about a hostile environment, a shelter, the way we build a shelter can help hide us. Uh, there's ways, and we'll discuss that in future videos, and how to make shelters that really no one's going to ever even notice you're even there. Um, so shelter is very important. Um, it's important to keep us out of the elements because being exposed to the elements is definitely detrimental to our survivability and our, and our health. And also our comfort. You know, if you you don't want to, you're surviving in the desert. It's kind of hard to sleep when you got the sun beating down on you. You know, and so you want to be able to develop some kind of shade during the heat. You know, in the same part, it's you need shelter to help stay warm in the winter um, and dry. So um, you can need a, shelter is important in any kind of scenario that you're in. Almost being able to protect yourself from the elements. And, and like we said in the H1 video. We're going to break our kit down. I have my main big kit. Uh, if you're watching this video first and you haven't seen the H1 video, go back to the H1 because I'm not going to rediscuss re uh, why the kit, why I'm building my kit this way and why I'm carrying it. So if you have any questions or if you're, if you're confused as to why I'm, I'm presenting it this way, go back to that video and it'll explain it. But breaking our kit down from our whole main day kit, then we're going to go to a small scout kit, and then we're going to go to an EDC kit. I'm going to show you how these items can can sustain us um, in that way. So um, then all you gotta do is take, if you have your main kit, if you wanna slim your kit down for just a day hike, you just go through your same kit without having to make uh, multiple changes or items. Everything that we have has multiple use too. Almost everything that I'm gonna show you here is used in the other eight steps without, you know, not just making shelter. That's why I designed this kit. That's why I included the items that I have because I wanted to carry items that can have multiple uses, not just one. Um, there's a very few items in my kit that only have one use. So let's go ahead and start with the main kit. Uh, the first part of my main kit, obviously, is uh, is uh, the tarp. I have a tarp and a poncho, all right? And I carry both of them with me, and we'll actually get into that here in a little bit. But I got a main tarp, a big heavy-duty, large tarp for making some kind of overhead cover or shelter, as well as a poncho. The poncho is a little bit smaller, but still does the same trick. Um, I carried both of them, and like I said, I'll explain that for you here in a second. Uh, the second thing I have, I want to mention is, I carry both 550 cord and bungee cords, alright? Um, carry both, because you might need both, alright? Uh, I carry bungee cords and use for the tarp, and I have 550 cord. I can use 550 cord for the, the tarp, for the poncho, uh, or, and vice versa. Um, we'll explain here while I go over too. I also have, what I do though, is I made pre-made guy lines. All right. I made these guy lines pre-made because one thing I don't want to do is just have a roll of 550 cord and then decide I want to make a shelter and then use up all the 550 cord. So I've actually made guy lines for the purpose of having them for my shelters. I have two different types. Well, I'll describe them in the future, but I have two different types of guy lines that I use. So that way I do have something that's dedicated uh, to, 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 to the shelter, but I can also use these for other uses and it is backup 550 cord. So, but in my kit, I always carry at least, I think I got about 100 feet of 550 cord here for other multiple uses. There's so many other uses for 550 cord and just making your shelters. So, like I said, we got our tarps, got a bunch of cords and 550 cord. Next thing I got is a duct tape. Duct tape has many different uses. One of them can be using it as cordage to uh, uh, secure uh, branches and, and, and logs together and whatnot to make frames for our shelter. So, 
not only is it useful for other things and I carry it for other things, I also have it as part of my H2 for help uh, in shelter making. For the large kit, you know, that's what we're discussing is by carrying the full kit, you know, obviously some kind of larger cutting tool. I got an axe here. Some people might you, know, you might want to carry a machete or a larger uh, knife to use for uh, cutting limbs, cutting branches and whatnot to help construct a, a larger facility. You know, if you're actually using branches and whatnot or uh, making debris shelters and also um, a, a smaller knife that you should always cut into whatever you decide to use for for that as well. Uh, the next thing I have is a sleeping bag. I do carry a small sleeping bag. Now this is three different levels in it. I can break this down and real small. This has got all uh, extreme cold, moderate weather, and then, and then uh, hot weather. Um, but so I can make this smaller if I wanted to. But it, this right now is packed up as if it's going out into the winter. But uh, that's also what I carry is a sleeping bag because that's a micro climate in itself. Um, you don't necessarily have to build a shelter. Maybe you can't build a shelter, but this is an extreme cold sleeping bag. I can go out and sleep in the snow with this and stay moderately warm um, in this uh, in this sleeping bag because that's what it's designed for. So that's also a good thing to have for your extended day or a full pack kit to always be ready. So now let's break it down into our scout pack. Okay, say we take this out to base camp. Um, just like we described in the H1 video, and decide to go um, for a day hike or something like that, or if we're at home, we only want to go to the woods. Let's break it down. For a scout pack, the reason I said I have a poncho and a tarp, let's say I'm setting up a permanent camp, I use my heavy duty poncho or a heavy duty tarp. That's more permanent, that's more heavy duty, more durable. But now I say I want to go out and, and uh, go on a scout. I don't want to break that down, so I have my poncho that I can roll up real tight and put in my haversack or whatnot and have as a backup in case while I'm on that day hike I get hit with a bad storm and I want to seek shelter. Or if I hurt myself I know okay it might be a day or two before I get back I can go ahead and make my shelter. The reason I carry 550 cord or guy lines and 550 cord is because I can use one with the other. My guy lines is more permanent and the 550 cord is more of a permanent setup. So I use that for my, my base camp or my heavy duty shelter and maybe throw my bungee cords in with my poncho from my day kit because this is quick and easy you know the scenario I'm looking at is I go on a day hike across the mountain or whatever and all of a sudden a flash storm comes in I need to quickly uh, get a shelter set up so I can quicker with bungee cords and a poncho set up a shelter than I can with 550 cord guy lines and a, and a tarp so that would be my um, my uh, day kit along with you know once again, my cutting tool, and of course I have my EDC on me at all times. So that would be just my day day camp kit. You know, this isn't rolled up, nice tight, but you can compress these these nylon uh, ponchos down really, really small. Um, now let's talk about the EDC kit. Say I get separated from my gear, and um, and uh, don't have it no more, or I went out ill prepared, but I still carry my EDC kit with me. Can I still make a shelter? And the obvious answer is yes I can. First off, let's talk about microclimates. I always carry, usually always have my Shimago on me. Microclimate is the immediate elements affecting your body as it is. Like I said, I'm in the sun right now. What if I'm in the desert? Well, at least with a Shimago, I could be sheltered. And this can even give me some kind of protection from rain. It'll get soaked, but at least I don't have that sensation of rain pouring down on me. Or even in the cold, I can still bundle up. That's my hat. I usually carry this hat with me in the woods. This kind of gives me some kind of protection from the sun and also keeps rain from beating off me. That's a microclimate change. It's not going to sustain you for a long time, but at least it's a quick change. The other things I carry in my EDC kit on my belt is I at least have 20 feet of 550 cord, so I have something for stringing together um, tree limbs or whatnot to make a lean to or, or to help construct a lean to. And, you know, of course, if I don't have my, my, my medium sized knife on me, so it's a lighter. I have some kind of small cutting tool on me to help with that as well. Now, of course, you don't need those things to start you know, or to uh, build a shelter, but they definitely can help out, uh, get help the job be a little quicker. So, we took our whole main kit, broke it down into a day kit or a small scout kit, and then broke that down and showed how if we have our EDC kit on us, we can still uh, help, we can still construct a uh, shelter. Um, pretty uh, productive. So I hope you learned something. We'll be back in the next video shortly. Sorry I'm speaking with Earth Walker Thank you.